Good day everyone, so let's discuss on the algae group. Now, algae groups are generally characterized that compose of cells ranging from unicellular to multicellular organisms. In terms of nutrition, they could either be autotropic or both autotropic or heterotropic. In the form of reproductive structures, they either form gametangia or gamete chambers. Some may have um, flagella, like the euglena, and often they contain paranoids or organelles that synthesis the store and store starch. Aside from that, this group are belong to eukaryotic. Uh, type of cell domain except for the cyanobacteria or we call it the cyanophyta which likely have to confuse because they are likely inclined to the uh, uh, prokaryotic domain so most of these groups usually found in freshwater marine or any moist soil habitats they contain chlorophyll chloroplast which structures that generate energy for the cell the pigment used for photosynthesis and can even vary resulting to the algae that appear either green red brown or even golden or um, yellow green so there are two types of algae based on structure could either be unicellular or we call it the microalgal group and we have also the multicellular type called the al macroalgae group such as the kelp and some species of seaweeds and for macroalgae group you have the unicellular unicellular type we have the volvox and chlorella and euglena now the algae could also be linked to the plant kingdom why because of the presence of cell wall that may contain mostly of cellulose and most green algae have cellular wall and the process of producing their own food so they are autotrophs so they could carry out photosynthesis and the presence of chlorophyll A which could also be found in plant kingdom now what is the difference now this makes them de uh, separated from the plant kingdom because algae lacks the root system leaves and other vascular tissues that are present in plants algae don't have vascular tissues and variations in pigments uh, at the same time variation in cell structure like some algae have unicellular, some are multicellular, some even form colonial. And in terms of cellular organization, uh, they have similarities with all other eukaryotic domain. So they uh, some some species or some groups. Some may have flagella or organs for locomotion they have the chloroplast site for photosynthesis and they have the thylakoids that are present in chloroplast and these pigments are present in the thylakoids and pyrenoid structure associated with chloroplast it contains carboxylase proteins and carbohydrates it depends on the group of algae and some may have eye spots like what we have in euglenophyta, which is part of chloroplasts. Uh, it directs the cell towards the light. Now, in terms of reproduction, there are three types. So, we have the vegetative cell division fragmentation in which a part of the filament breaks and to form another individual. And we have also asexual reproduction, where the zoospores, after losing their flagella, forms new filaments and no sexual fusion. And lastly, we have the sexual reproduction, which is the fusion of the gametes. So we have the male and the female gamete fused into one um, zygote, then to a new individual. In terms of uh, some algae may produce also asexual reproduction 
So like what we have here, a small portion of uh, the uh, cell was removed. So there were part of RJ that was bud, uh, bud off and developed into a new individual. And sexual reproduction and gametes. Uh, gamete development, as mentioned in the sexual reproduction, there will also be a gamete development. Now, in gametes development, we have the gametic meiosis, zygotic meiosis, and sporosic, uh, sporic meiosis. So, could either be isogamy, anisogamy, and oogamy. When we say isogamy, both have flagella and similar size and morphology. The anisogamy, the gametes, so may male and female, and oogamy, gametes with flagella sperm fuses with larger non-flagellated gamete for the egg. So if we're going to enlarge this one, we have the zygotic meiosis. Uh, starts with um, from a haploid. So this is how the gametes are formed. So there are three ways. So we have the gametic meiosis, zygotic meiosis, and the sporic meiosis. Now, let's have the morphological characteristics of most algae. So there are algae that are unicellular. So when you say unicellular, they are motile and some also non-motile. Motile, uh, we have the Chalmidomonas and Euglena with the help of we have here a picture below, we have the Euglena species and the Calindomonas species. In the non motile type, we have the cholera species. In terms of multicellular algae, we have the colonial type, especially we have the wall box. Okay, the wall box, if you have to label labeled part. We had the biflagellated cells in the single layer. So these are the flagellated cells that forms together as one organism. And the cells of the anterior end have a larger stigmas. We have there the hyosphere. And inside we have the small circular cells. These are the daughter, uh, daughter synopsia formed asexually only released when parent colony breaks down. So this is the synovia found in freshwater pools and ditches to the larger colonies visible to the naked eye. So this is the wall box. Another one, we have also the filamentous type and the synocytic algae. Now when we say filamentous type, so this is the filamentous type, we have the spirogyra. And for the synocytic algae, we have the vulcherea species composed of one large cell without cross walls while the filamentous one they are septated so we have the cross walls while in synocytic it is a continuous one another morphological characteristics could either be multicellular algae or um, an algae a cells made up of silica so we have the multicellular algae, we have the large complex or uh, resembled like plant. We have a good example, yung Macrocystis pyrifera, uh, or we call it the giant kelp. And we have also the Ulva lactuca. lactuca. So we have also uh, example of multicellular, yung uh, sea grapes, sea grapes. Um, at the same time, yung guso, or we call it this uh, general term as the seaweed. Next, we have the diatoms. Now, these are unicellular uh, algae but covered with silica on their cell wall. So, one good example is diatoma and cyclotelia species. So, this is the cyclotelia species and this is the diatoma species. Next, so let's go to the major groups of algae. First, we have the Phyophaceae. Uh, Phyophaceae, so we have 
examples of representatives of the brown algae we have the ectocarpus, tilopteris, cutelleria, desmarestia, laminaria, spacellaria, sporocnus, dicotiota, and sargassum. So, what are the characteristics of this group? Mostly they are found marine and they contain chlorophyll A and C with pigment flu fluxosantine. So, they are reproduction by mitosis and meiosis. Composed of talus intersections, so we have the whole past, the stipe, the stipe that would resemble like a stem, and we have also a blade formed leaf like uh, structure called uh, the blade. Or the floater naman, itong floater, we have the bladder. So it contains a hollow organ that serves uh, the algae to float in water. So it also stores laminarin and the cell wall is made up of cellulose and alginic acid. Next group, we have the Rhodophyaceae. So we, these are also known as the red algae. Now, red algae usually found either freshwater or marine, multicellular, and filamentous to par parenchymatous body. So, they contain chlorophyll A and D. So, the pigments should be reddish or violet or uh, because they contain beta-carotene, lutein, fluxosantin, mysosantin, and violasantin. So, these are uh, that responsible for their color. So, sexual reproduction is absent with advanced oogamy. Uh, zoospores absent. Male gametes, no flagella, haplobiontic and diplobiontic life cycle with alternation generation. So, example of the genera found in Rhodophyaceae, we have the Porphyra, Torea, Gilidium, Coraliana, uh, Coralina, Ceramium, Gracilaria, Champia. Next group, we have the Chlorophyta. The Chlorophyta, uh, they are marine or either found also in fresh water. And they are of form colonial, pwede ding um, filamentous or unicellular. And they have a rigid cell wall containing cellulose. Uh, cellulose in the inner layer and pectose on the outer layer that contains protein and starch stored in the pyrenoids. And reproduction could either be asexual, sexual, or vegetative production. Next, we have the Santophyaceae, or we call it the yellow-green algae. And they also contain chlorophyll A and E, or A and C. So, it's a combo, AE or AC. It also contains santophils and beta-carotene and lacks phosphosantid. So, that makes them different with uh, chrysophyta or the green algae. So, they lack phosphosantine. Sometimes, this group are also mistaken by as a green algae because of their uh, greenish in characteristics. But, that uh, one way to differentiate them is by having for they don't have focusantin. So, this group also store oils and store storage polymer chrysolaminarin. And the reproduction is asexual. Pocherea was found to be oogamous. And botrydium reproduces by means of bimastigote, zoospores, or aplanospores. And they do well in acidic conditions. So, this type of algae thrive in acidic condition. Next group. Pyrophyllaceae or pyrophyta or dinoflagellates. Some may call them diatoms or generally called the red algae or that causes red tide. But there are some species that um, they will not uh, exhibit a reddish in color but either blue, yellow, or green, or brown. So, what makes them different from other uh, green, brown algaes? 
So mostly found in marine but some in fresh water also. Cell wall has stiff cellulose plates with flagella. So they are flagellated. Pigments could either be from ranges from yellow, blue, red, green, or brown. They have also chlorophyll A, C, plus carotenoids that they store fats and starch. The reproduction could be asex, uh, sexual through isogamous and asexual through binary fission. Some species may contain a neurotoxin and this one caused red tide. So the, uh, the, the neurotoxin is also called saxi, saxitoxin found in red diatoms. Some have bioluminescent called uh, diatoms so they would react if there's a movement in water and they could be seen beautifully during at night and these are bioluminescent because they have luciferin and this also serve as this as defense mechanism against predators so here we have a sample of a diatom we have the noctiluca the blue one this the greenish one is the uh, tychodiscus and the tripod type we have the ceratium and the globular with carvices we have the goni uh, gonibolax so this is a gonibolax next group we have the chrysophyaceae so we call it the golden algae most uh, mostly marine and some in fresh water also they could form unicellular or colonial it contains chlorophyll a and c plus with fluc flucosantin or botcherosantin they store chrylolaminarin in vesicles they have also flagella but unlike with other group it is unequal in length so it is called undilipodia because it means unequal in length so they store carbohydrates or oil droplets they are cellosolic envelopes of lorica or silica so the cellulose was enveloped with a silica asexual is through binary fission or sporogenesis sexual like in other algae it also isogamous anisogamous or oogamous the life cycle is haplotonic. Now we have examples of representatives from Chrysophyaceae uh, or the golden algae. We have the Fragilaria and Stratelia. Next one we have the Euglenophyaceae uh, or we call it the uh, Euglena group. So, mostly they are unicellular and motile, or we call it the free-swimming one. And most of them are unicellular, and they are usually found in freshwater environment. They store paramyloin, paramyloin and fat on their thalacoid, and they don't have cell wall. So, what we, uh, they are covered only in plasma membrane. So, distinguished by having eye spot, so that is a distinguishable character. Uh, part of the chloroplast is the eye spot. So, they have chlorophyll A, B, plus carotene and xanthophyll. So, they are produced by asexual by my mitotis, so they don't have sexual reproduction. So, may form endospore in unfavorable environments, like in amoeba, the amoeba would produce a cyst. In the active stage of amoeba during favorable condition is the stropozoid. So, this euglena group um, during unfavorable condition they will form endospores. So, we have representatives from uh, the diagram here. We have the elliptical type, we have the euglena species, and we have the long elongated type. We have the euglena acus. And we have also the other uh, genera, uh, another genus of Euglenophyaceae, uh, we have the Facus, Facus species. 
So next we have the cyanophytaceae or cyanophyta or we call it the cyanobacteria or generally known as the blue green algae. So found in marine fresh water or even in soil moist habitats. But they live in extreme condition type of environment. So like for example um, extreme cold or extremely hot. And we so these are uh, they are also associated with the prokaryotes or the bacteria. So mostly they are very small in size or microscopic in uh, size. They contain chlorophyll A and plus phycobiloproteins or either a phycoerythrin or phycocyanin and allocyanin either of those four components. So the, they also store glycogen and cyanophysin as a starch. Cell walls made up of peptidoglycan like in other bacteria, that's why they are also linked to the prokaryotes. This type of algae don't have a nucleus nor other membrane bound organelles. That's why they are linked in terms of the evolution of uh, from prokaryotes going to eukaryotes, the cyanobacteria. So the cyanobacteria could either be um, a transition from prokaryote to a eukaryote type. Sometimes in other classification, the cyanobacteria belongs to uh, the prokaryotes because of no nucleus and other membrane-bound organelles. And there's no sexual reproduction, so more on a sexual reproduction could either be binary fission. And these are the gene uh, genera found in cyanobacteria. We have the Anaxistis, Coroococcus, uh, Psychococcus, uh, so these are the unicellular forms. And to summarize all the algae groups, from Phyophyaceae uh, to the Cyanophyaceae. Uh, so we have here the brown algae, the red, the green, and the Cyanophyaceae, Pyro, the red one, Chrysophyaceae, the golden, and Euglenophyaceae, the unicellular type. In other references, also, we could also. Uh, classify the algae group based on the type of pigment, the presence of flagella during reproduction, or um, in either gamete formation, and also the stored food, so uh, the reserve food of each algae that makes them different from one another. So that's it. So that's the discussion for the algae group. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.